Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't done a voiceover in such a long time, so apologies if this is a little weird, but obviously today's video is going to be a little morning routine vlog. And I filmed this and barely had any footage for my morning routine because I knew I was going to be doing a voiceover, so this video is going to have other things in it, but Let's just start off with the morning routine. First thing I do is make my bed right as soon as I wake up, and then I go ahead and journal. I love journaling. I have several. I do the five minute journal. I have a five year journal um, with a question every day. I also have a prayer journal where I just write down my prayers. I have a devotional. I just find that journaling really sets the mood for my day, and I appreciate it. And yeah, I would definitely recommend journaling in your free time. The next thing that I typically do is Pilates. I was walking and I'm actually trying to get back into walking, um, but this day I just did Pilates in my PJs because it was super comfy. And then after my shower, I went ahead and did my morning routine. Um, I just usually typically wear moisturizer, sunscreen, some brow gel, chapstick, and I usually curl my eyelashes. I don't really like wearing a lot of makeup, so this little routine just makes me feel super good. Um, a little bit more put together than just like leaving straight like that and today was a hair wash day so I'm going ahead and put putting some Olaplex hair oil in but yeah this is basically my everyday morning routine I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the vlog now but yeah enjoy the rest of the video guys Good morning guys. Um, hey, I'm going to show you guys my little bookshelf tour because I really need to organize it. So I thought I would just vlog it and then add it into the video. That way this video is over two minutes long. Move everything back here. It's actually super exciting. I have all five vinyls of Midnight by Taylor Swift. I'm only gonna keep one. I'm giving four to my girlfriend so Brinley, um, Ruth, Anna, and Grace. So anyways I just thought that was super exciting because I do have all five but don't worry I'm not gonna keep them all. We need some organization so I think I'm just gonna show you guys the books that I have on the shelf and then figure it out. First I'm gonna do the books that I've already read on the shelf. So the first two books I have is a Bromance Book Club and then Love in the Time of Serial Killers. Both of these are super good. Um, I want to get the rest of the series actually but read those. I've also read The Wife Between Us by Greer and Sarah. read the entire Slim series by Colleen Hoover. And on the Colleen Hoover track, I also read It Starts With Us by her. I also read The Family Upstairs. These two books for the Throne of Ash series, or Blood and Ash series, not Throne of Ash, what? Cry to Gilded Bones and The War of Two Queens, Light Lark. I feel like that's it for like that little section because some of the other books I've read have been um, for school and I kind of want to keep those books together because they're classics. So I'm going to take everything off my shelf I think. So I have I Will Teach You How to Be Rich, American Psycho, I have You, the Fine Print series. I think a third book is actually coming out in this series which is exciting because I haven't read it yet. So. I'll have a new book to read. I have the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I have this gluten-free shopping little book. I have She Said. Oh, I have a whole bunch of books. I have Death in Her Hands, Bunny, Milk Fed, Ghost. I also have Meant to Be Mine by Hannah Ornstein. I have Eileen, Golden Girl, and then the Maybe Someday series by Colleen Hoover. And I'm so upset because I purchased this series when it was the original covers, but my Maybe Now didn't come in until it was the new cover. So now it's, it's a little strange, but <laughs> we have that. I have Notes on Heartbreak by Annie Lord. This one sounds super good and I probably probably should read this. <laughs> friend Grace actually gave me these six books and that is six of the books from the Pretty Little Liar series. So I think I will actually probably keep these back there. So I'm not going to take these off. Here I have all my school books. Um, I'll give you a rundown. So I have Clotel. I have the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket. So I've read both of these. So I guess that's good to know. I the Great Gatsby, Thomas Hardy, Dust of Do Reveals, Walt Whitman's Leave of Grass, Picture of Dorian Gray, The Coquette, The Yellow Wallpaper, 
This is a collection of Emily Dickinson's poems. And then I also have The Captivity of the Oatman Girls. Um, yeah, very interesting. Here I also have the entire Shadow and Bone series. If you guys know what I'm reading, it's missing, so that can tell you guys. But Shadow and Bone and then Crooked, uh, or sorry, Six of Crows series. So I think this is probably, instead of putting it at the very back, I want it like right before my school books, if that makes sense. Okay, I think that looks so much better. I know you guys can't see it, but I swear it does. And then we're gonna put the Six of Crows series here. We just have to keep room for the second book. The books that I've already read off the shelf because I'm gonna take them home. So I'm just gonna, yeah, keep them all off. So we have She Said Runa, put that down flat along with Southern Guides Book Club, or the Southern Book Club's Guide to Killing Vampires. We're slaying vampires. I will teach you how to be rich. American Psycho and you. So down here, it's literally gonna be the same books. This is not changing at all. So we have the Maybe Not series, or maybe Sunday series. We have just our little color ray of books because it's in rainbow color. Cool. Okay, guys, my bookshelf's all done. I know I didn't talk during that, so I apologize, but this is what it's looking like. So, just on red books on here now, I might consider taking the Pretty Little Liar books home just because I don't see myself reading those while I'm here. Not because, like, I wouldn't read them, but because I don't have the entire series and I'm trying to work through my TBR versus buying new books. These are all the books that I've read thus far. I'm gonna get rid of them. I think my dad's coming to town to fix my car, so I'm gonna give them to him. Oh, oh gosh, so many. I'm gonna obviously have to keep them because, or keep some of them because of the month of October. Actually, maybe I can sort them out by what I've read. Yeah, that's basically it that I wanted to talk about um, or do in this video because I didn't really know what else to add. Basically, <laughs> the books just fell again. My mornings, I've been waking up way too early probably. I used to have a 9 a.m. every morning, but now my earliest class starts at 10 on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then on Tuesday and Thursday, it doesn't start till 11. So like today is a Thursday, it's 8.36 and I've been ready for like 30 minutes. Obviously I don't have class until like two and a half hours from now. So yeah, basically that's it. That's the morning routine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was shorter um, and you guys got like a random book shelf organization video, but that's kind of fun. Um, let me know what you guys want to see in the near future and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys. Oh my god, I'm not doing that anymore. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.